also some tough luck on his shots, but what they're doing is they're crowding him. Harper sending him baseline, forcing him into a tough shot or a shot blocker here once again, taking him away from that catch and shoot. Now, this is a great look by Reggie. Boom, and it rattles in and out. Those are the shots that Bird has talked about. Those will fall. But Reggie, 0 for 6, combination of good defense and some tough luck on some shots. If you think for a second, and I know you don't, Coach, that he's going to be daunted by this, you don't build a reputation as one of the great clutch shooters of all time in this league and then have your confidence shaken by missing a half dozen of them in one quarter. He will continue to fire. Couldn't agree with you more. And when we talked to him yesterday, he said that. He said, I'm in the NBA Finals. I'm going to go down shooting. If we're going to lose, I'm going to shoot the basketball. Now you've got Kobe matched up against Reggie here as we start the second quarter. Because Travis Best is in to run the point, replacing Mark Jackson, and Derek Fisher is guarding him, and Best gives them instant offense. He's just a little guy, only 5'11", but he's very adept at doing what you just saw him do. When confronted by a bigger defender, in this case the biggest Shaq, he can lob his shot high, and he's accurate with it. O'Neal out of the double to Rice. He's guarded by the veteran Derek McKee. Shaq finds Fox around the perimeter to Fisher, and Derek Fisher has his shot come out for him, and McKee takes the rebound. Crozier against Fox into the paint and scoring off the glass. Now he's going to remember when Rick Fox plays you in the post, he's not going to block your shot. He's going to try to strip you on the way up. So once he gets position, he's going to protect the ball just like he did that time. Lakers by 11. Bryant over Miller. And he traveled. Travis Best is in the game right now to do a couple things. First of all, to try to slow the ball coming up the floor, and secondly, to try to increase the tempo of the game, get some easy baskets. He's quick, he's strong, and as you said, Bob, he loves that little floater in the lane. In the first quarter, Indy, the best shooting team all round in the league, 7 for 20. Lakers, 15 for 22. Sam Perkins misses the three, but Crozier is there. Very versatile player, Crozier. He has outside range on his jumper, quick first step, and after putting on 20 pounds lifting weights in the offseason, he's rugged enough to do some dirty work inside. Well, one of the reasons they traded Antonio Davis was they felt like Sam Perkins needed to play about 20 minutes, and they needed to get Crozier on the floor for things just like that. down on Perkins and it comes up short in fact he drew air with it Sam Perkins driving on Shaq and it looks like O'Neal fouled him that'll be his first Austin Crozier is coming in and giving his team a nice lift. They needed some energy. More importantly, they need somebody to put the ball in the basket. He backs down Rick Fox, lays the ball in the basket. Then the next time, he comes circling in from the wing, swooping in with the offensive rebound and the finish. The Pacers now are within nine. Chris Mullen likes it. And you're watching the NBA playoffs on NBC. The NBA on NBC is brought to you by... Gatorade Thirst Quencher. It's in the NBA. Is it in you? By 1-800-CALL-ATT for collect calls. By Chrysler. These will never land on an ordinary car. And by Adidas. Long live sport. After trailing by 17, the Pacers have scored eight unanswered points. Here's Austin Crozier backing in on Fox. Knocking him backwards and scoring. And now let's listen to the audio from Larry Bird during the last timeout. Fox, now he tries to flop every time, okay? So if you a little contact, go away from him. Play, gang. Here goes, Sammy! You know, we spoke to Reggie Miller yesterday. I asked him about Larry Bird. I said, have you seen a difference as he's prepared for the Lakers? He said, you bet. He has seen that Lakers across that jersey, and it brings back all kind of memories. He's more animated than I've seen him in about three years, and this is where they really need his championship experience as they try to call back after a slow start. 
Sam Perkins will be 39 in a week says this will be his last season hits the first one as we check with him on. All right. Thanks Bob during that last time out the Lakers had a discussion about their defense Shaq asked him the coach should they rotate and uh, coach Phil Jackson say no just show and go back and recover. Told them they were really getting out of their offense and not moving the ball and they got to really get down on the offensive rebound. Bob? Here's Fisher on the drive. And he manages to hit it despite Crozier taking a last second swipe at it. That's a great matchup. Travis Best and Derek Fisher's two very strong, quick left handed guards. That basket stopped. A 10 0 Indiana run. Miller knocked back in his face by Ori. Reggie still can't get on track. Kobe Bryant. And Best claims the rebound. Reggie needs a layup for a couple free throws. Let's see if he can get to the line. Crozier for three, way off. Miller trying for the save. But it's into the hands of Ori. Rick Fox in transition. Misses the pull up. Pacers just trying to weather the storm here. And they've come back from 17 down to make it a bit more reasonable. And the Lakers are advancing the ball so quickly they're getting high percentage shots most every time. Best from behind the screen set by Perkins. It's a two point basket. Now the Pacers have two different personalities. Mark Jackson's a quarterback comes in runs a team and Travis Best looks to score looks to push the ball. We're seeing that right now here as they've made the defense or the offensive uh, substitution. O'Neal backing in on Perkins. McKee there with the help, but it's not enough. I'm shocked that they allowed to, uh, Shaq to take two dribbles, turn, and lay that ball in the basket. Now they can't, they cannot win this game if they give him those kind of baskets. He's already scored 17. Best on the move, and a Laker foul. Shaq gets the ball in the lane. You're going to see the one bounce, the two bounce. He picks it up. And look how close he is to the basket. He just muscles in and lays the ball in the basket. That's like a two foot shot. And I think we've seen as, as Shaq has played and scored those kind of uh, uh, baskets during the playoffs, he just wears down and demoralizes the opponent. Reggie Miller sits down. Jalen Rose is back in. Perkins for three. Travis Best gives them a fresh 24. Rose doesn't use much of it as he swishes one from beyond the arc. That's the strength of the Pacers, and it was come off an offensive rebound. Inside out, quick three by Rose. And they're within six. It's the Lakers who ask for time. A 17-point lead is down to six. The Pacers are not a good offensive rebounding team. Who gets it? The smallest man on the floor, Travis Best. He finds Jalen Rose who knocks in the three. Reggie off to a slow start and the Pacers hanging in there with a 15-4 run. Phil Jackson has won six titles as an NBA coach, has another ring as a player with the Knicks. Only Red Auerbach has more NBA coaching titles than Jackson six. Red won nine. Meanwhile, Larry Bird's Pacers are on a 15-4 run and coming back in this game without a contribution to this point from Reggie Miller, who at the moment is seated and has shot 0 for 7 to this point in the game. Well, I talked about rebounding be vital for the uh, for the Pacers. They have five offensive rebounds, nine to nothing on the offensive boards, 12 to two bench scoring. So the bench doing a good job. Bryant with the miss, O'Neal with the recovery, and he scored 19 points, and we still have seven and a half minutes to play in the second quarter. Now, Bird told us yesterday he didn't think they could win if Shaq was going to get 35 or more points. Well, he's on pace for over 40 right now. Perkins, Bryant on him on a switch. 